It's a points race final, a straight ride to decide who will be the world champion. Here's the start list then for the men's points race. The defending champion, Arthur Urshoff, uh, leads with uh, wearing number one, as you can see. Also in the field there for France, Benjamin Thomas. Claudio Imhoff could be a rider who could take this uh, points race. Ian Holt goes for the United States of America. Well, the points race is always entertaining. Uh, Lots of action all the way through as we take a look at the next list of riders. One non-starter will be uh, Leif Lampeter, who is taking to the start here for Germany. Andreas Graf could be a challenger, so did, uh, could, could be uh, Kenny De Ketela, a great six-day rider. And Eloy Teruel has also been on the podium in this event. Jonathan Dibbon goes for Great Britain. He's already won a team pursuit silver. Martin Blaha, another strong rider. Felix English could be a surprise in here. And Sam Wellsford, already a team pursuit world champion. The crowd getting ready for these 160 laps of racing, 16 sprints along the way. But keep your wits about you. Stay with me as we uh, find out who wins the men's points race. There will be points every 10 laps. If you take a lap, you get another uh, 20 points along the way. As we look through the field, remember Leif Lampeter will not start for uh, Germany, but the rest of the field very strong indeed. Italian rider just making his way into the uh, string of riders. There's Liam Bantanzo. Uh, the Belgian rider, Kenny De Ketela. There is the Japanese rider, that's here, Hashimoto. Sam Wellsford, Felix English, Martin Blaha. That's the colours of uh, Portugal. That was Ivo Oliveira. There's Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain. The Ukrainian uh, rider, and uh, the Belarusian is next right at the front then the hong kong china rider and there is eloy terrell the spanish rider in red and yellow Jonathan Dibbon just having a conversation with uh, Heiko, the coach. And this race then underway, the uh, intermediate sprint points. Uh, we'll keep you up to date with uh, who is in the lead. 40 kilometers, 160 laps, 16 sprints to decide who is the world champion. The gun goes for the start of this men's points race to decide who will be the world champion. Everyone will just settle down. I'm sure we're going to see a few attacks along the way. It's interesting, I was talking to the uh, Irish uh, team manager, the team coach earlier on today. 
Felix English felt very strong in the scratch race the other night. He used to ride for the JLT Condor team on the road, now rides for uh, Madison Genesis on the, one of the British teams. Martin Blaha goes to the front of the string of riders, followed immediately by Liam Badpazzo, the Italian rider. Just give you an update, who's been in the medals over the last few years? Arthur Ershoff is the defending champion from Russia. Terrell was the silver medalist last year. Previous races, Edwin Avia has been the champion. Tom Scully uh, was in second place in 2014, and Terrell has been on the podium for the last three years. 2013, we saw the emergence of Simon Yates, now riding, of course, for Orica Greenedge. He took the world title in Minsk in Belarus. Kenny de Ketela has been a bronze medalist riding in here for Belgium in 2012. So some big names have been uh, medalists in this, including Ben Swift, Cameron Meyer. So do tweet us in today if you would like to during this points race. It is uh, the long race where we can answer all your questions. 150 laps to go. We're seeing Liam Bertazzo going on the attack, immediately joined uh, by the Polish rider, uh, sorry, the Portuguese rider, 14 and 17, the two riders on the attack. So it is uh, Ivo Oliveira on the attack, and Liam Bartazzo of Italy. These two riders combining at the front to try and take a lap on the rest of the field as we head towards the first sprint of the night. 152 laps to go, a capacity crowd here in the Lee Valley in Velo Park, the site of the London 2012 Olympic Games. Thank you for joining us. One lap to go for the first sprint here in this points race. The points race is all about accumulating uh, the points along the way. That's all that matters. And it is going to be Oliveira who takes the first points, but Tazzo takes uh, second. And it looks like the sprint is going to be between the Frenchman and uh, Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain. First sprint then goes to uh, the Portuguese rider. The results of sprint number one, so you get the idea. Five points go to the winner, Ivo Oliveira of Portugal, Liam Bartazzo in second, Benjamin Thomas sec uh, third, and Jonathan Dibbon in fourth place. Oliveira then the leader after one sprint. Thanks very much for your questions, Yolanda Pretoria. So then will John Spies compete again? I haven't seen him on the uh, list of riders competing yet, so I'll update you as soon as I see him on a start list. Maybe he was only competing in uh, one race earlier on in the World Championships. That breakaway then has come to uh, nothing. The race is all back together. And now we see our next move at the front, and it's number 22. A Hashimoto of Japan who tries to make a little bit of a break. If you look closely under the saddle, you can see the power meter of Hashimoto, which is collecting all the data. There we are, perfect camera shot. That little power meter will collect the wattage that he's putting out, his cadence, his heart rate and everything, so the coaches can analyse exactly how he has performed it during the race. So these two riders then going clear. Hashimoto has been joined here by Dibbon. Dibbon comes from my home city of Southampton, down on the south coast of England. And uh, Dibbon now is going clear, trying to take a lap on the rest of the field, looking very good so far, these two riders. The Japanese rider, Hashimoto, an attacking kind of rider. 
Dibben and Hashimoto are building their advantage now as they head towards the second sprint of the night. Remember, 20 points for the riders who take a lap. The bell goes with one lap to go to the second sprint of the night. And Dibben is looking here to accelerate so he gets as close as he possibly can to the back of the peloton. And then once they go through the sprint point, they'll steadily slow up normally, and that'll give them the chance to get on. So Dibbon takes the points, and it's the Australian rider there who is going to close up those points, Sam Wellsford. And now Dibbon and Hashimoto will work extremely hard to try and take a lap on the rest of the field. They're very close now. They're about a quarter of a lap away. Dibbon and Hashimoto could be the first two riders to take a lap. Confirmation on the screen there. Jonathan Dibbon takes five, Hashimoto three, Wellsford two, and Hirmith takes one. They are almost on the back of the race now. Jonathan Dibbon and Hashimoto are going to be one lap ahead in this points race. Dibbon takes an early lap. Hashimoto takes the points as well. 20 points go to the Briton and the Japanese rider. That is going to completely change the standings. We'll wait for confirmation as we see Aloy Terrell now trying to stretch this race a little bit. Uh, the rider from Spain trying to go clear. He's the rider in the yellow and red. Confirmation then of the standings after two sprints. Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain leads with 26 points, Hashimoto 23, and Bacazzo in third place. So you get the idea now, five points for the winner of each sprint, 20 points are taken a lap, and you win the points race by scoring the most points. Big attack at the front now, and this comes from number 19, and this uh, is Andreas Graf of Austria. And that's on board now with uh, the Austrian rider Andreas Graf as we look back at the New Zealander. Great shot as he goes on the attack. That's Luke Mug uh, Mugway, who's uh, trying to close the gap up on the Austrian rider. Getting close now to the next sprint. That went quick, didn't it? Ten laps. On the front of the race now. It is still... The Austrian rider going for the points. Uh, Benjamin Thomas of France trying to go round the outside, and Thomas looks like he's going to take the five. And it is going to be the rider in second place from Austria, and that is Andreas Graf. There's the photo. With a slow motion finish, Benjamin Thomas leads across the line with 130 laps of racing to go. Sprint number three, Benjamin Thomas takes five, Andreas Graf takes three, and Lewis Sepulveda two, Nikita Panasenko takes the one point. On the front of the race now, a group of riders going clear, about eight riders going clear. Liam Bacazzo of Italy trying to close the gap. Benjamin Thomas is the leader. He swings up to share the pacemaking. The standings after three sprints. Still the leader is Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain. Hashimoto second. Benjamin Thomas in third place. There's our leader from Great Britain, Jonathan Dibbon. Just having a look here at this uh, leading group. Peloton kind of split into two groups right now. Heinrich Strobel, an interesting question about these aero helmets. Well, they can't wear a teardrop, a full teardrop aero hat in a race like this, but they can wear an aero road helmet. Uh, such like the one that uh, the Kazakhstan rider is riding, or uh, if you look through the group, you see Jonathan Dibbon is wearing an aero helmet. But number five there, uh, 
Nikita Panasenko. He's wearing an aero hat, the New Zealand rider uh, leading here. This is the four onboard shot from uh, our New Zealand rider. As we look at the Polish rider just behind him, we're getting a real insight as to what this racing is all about, just how much these riders have to lean over, the swapping, the changing, the gaps that are going on as we head towards the next sprint of the night. Luke Matway. 122 laps to go, and it is the Australian rider who now hits the front. That is Sam Wellsford, such a talented team for Suter already. Looking round at Benjamin Thomas, Jonathan Dibbon looking to get in the mix here to score a few more points. Dibbon looking to just stay up there on the top of the leaderboard, sneaks through, riding a very controlled race. But again, it is uh, Benjamin Thomas who scores another five points. Sam Wellsford takes the second place, Dibbon takes third, and Andreas Graf will take fourth place with 120 laps of racing to go. Sprint number four of 16, Benjamin Thomas takes five, Sam Wellsford on the board in th with three points, Dibbon takes two. Four riders going clear. Here's our leaderboard. Jonathan Dibbon with 28. Hashimoto with 23. They're the two riders who took a lap. And Benjamin Thomas accumulating nicely with 12 points. Wellsford there in fourth. Dibbon looking really composed. Suddenly a big reaction comes. At the front of the peloton, Andreas Graf, a great six-day rider, swings up the track. Just to finish that question about the aero helmets, so you're allowed to wear the aero hat, the filled-in helmet, that little teardrop, but not the full aero time trial helmet in this uh, style of racing. But it does give you an aerodynamic advantage, even in a peloton. The minute you go to the front, you will save a few watts of power. A little reaction coming at the front of this race, and uh, the rider on the attack right now in the red colours is the Hong Kong China rider. There he is, King Lok Chung. Behind him, the Russian rider reacts to come across uh, to, the to the leaders now. The Australian rider who's in here at the fourth place overall. Fantastic rider, only 20 years of age is Sam Wellsford. Already a national champion in the uh, individual pursuit. Wellsford, one of the talented Australians that's coming through now. Next sprint coming up, 110 laps to go will be the next sprint. It's the New Zealander on the front, and now the move goes around the outside, and involved in the mix is the Belgian rider, Kenny De Ketela, the bronze medalist in 2012. De Ketela throws his bike at the line, and he will take the five points by the looks of things. Benjamin Thomas again scoring some points by the looks of things for France. Kenny De Ketela looking composed, he took the five points in sprint number five. Roman Ramanau of Belarus took two. The second place, sorry, Ben Thomas took two, and Luke Mudgeway took one point. Benjamin Thomas working hard. The standings after sprint five of 16, still Jonathan Dibbon leads with 28 points. Thomas closing in with 14, and Kenny De Ketela now into fourth. There's our leader, Dibbon looking comfortable. Still a long, long way to go.
On the front then, Kenny de Ketela from Udenard in, in uh, Belgium, rides for Top Sport Vlandren. Madison, world champion. Took the Madison world title back in 2012. We're on board here with the New Zealand rider, looking back at Andreas Graf, the Austrian rider. See how that mouth is so open, the whole the shoulders hunched over those handlebars, keeping the hands uh, and arms nice and straight. Kenny de Ketela, 30 years of age now from uh, Belgium. Great shot here of the New Zealanders uh, back of his bike as we see him go into the string of riders. Getting close now to the next sprint of the night. That's coming up in two laps time. On the front now, Felix English of Ireland looking around at Jonathan Dibbon. Putting with those arms very close together. Really narrow bars, Jonathan Dibbon rides. It's very aerodynamic indeed, very efficient. He's on the front, he's looking to score a few more points here. Moving up on the outside, Luke Mudgeway of New Zealand, looking to get involved in the action. Kenny De Ketela is also there. Dibbon now gives it a little bit of a kick. And he takes, I think, the five points for Great Britain again. Close, though. Mudgeway may well have taken it. Oh, photograph between those two. And it's confirmation then that Jonathan Dibbon, I think, may well have taken it by the crowd reaction. But we'll wait until we get it on the screen. There we go. Sprint number six, five points to Dibbon. The New Zealander Luke Mudgeway. A great performance for him so far with three points. And that's the rest of the riders. The standings after six sprints. Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain, a 10-point advantage on Hashimoto. Benjamin Thomas of France still with 14. Kenny de Ketela with seven points. Do tweet me if you'd like to, at Adam McCrossan, if you're sitting watching these track cycling world championships. Who are you supporting? Let me know. Doesn't matter what nation you support, as long as you're supporting someone. And we're seeing an attack going on now at the front. This attack, Kenny de Ketela. This is a dangerous one for the leader, because Benjamin Thomas is also in there, and so is Andreas Graf. This could uh, turn the standings on their head. An immediate reaction now, and uh, Dibbon is a long, long way back in the string of riders. The Hong Kong China rider, King Lok Chung, is trying to close the gap. Eloy Terrell is also there. But Kenny de Ketela is a master at taking laps, a Madison world champion. And suddenly, Dibbon is on the back foot, big style here. Three riders going clear, and you do not let Kenny de Ketela out of your sight in a race where you have to take laps. Andreas Graf in the string, if this pace calms down, then Divin is going to find himself in a bit of trouble because Benjamin Thomas would go to the top of the leaderboard by one point. The Frenchman has been accumulating points all night. Divin is trying to react for Great Britain, but he's in no man's land. He's made a big mistake here in this points race. He just sat too far near the back. He's had to do a massive amount of work. But Benjamin Thomas knows that if he now scores the points, then he will be the rider who will go to the top of the leaderboard the minute he takes a lap on the rest of the field. So it's Thomas Graf and De Ketela who are just mixing this race up. They're about to uh, lap a group of riders in front of them, but the peloton is deemed as the biggest group of riders on the track, which means that Divin is safely in there, and De Ketela, Graf and Benjamin Thomas have to catch the main body of the peloton. Sprint number seven, Andreas Graf takes five, Thomas takes three, De Ketela takes two points, and and Alloy Terrell takes one point. Well, there is a real chase going on now. 
the Caterer, Thomas and Graf have caught a small group of riders, but they haven't lapped the field. The standings after sprint number seven. Jonathan Dibbert, 33 points. Hashimoto with 23. Thomas with 17. If he laps the field, Thomas will go to the top of the leaderboard. De Caterer now is attacking hard to try and lap the field. Kenny De Caterer is getting very, very close now to lapping the peloton. And Thomas is trying to go with him. This is a big chase. This peloton is smashed to pieces all the way around this track. De Caterer, he is the leader. 80, uh, leader in terms of where we are on the track. Keep your eye on him. In the turquoise, the Belgian rider is firing on all cylinders right now as he tries to go across to catch the back of the string. The minute he does that, he will score 20 points. Graf is trying to go with him. 84 laps to go. Kenny De Caterer doesn't have the legs here to catch the group. There's still this big chase going on. And it's Thomas and Graf who need to help him. De Caterer slots in on the back of the group to try and get a little bit of help to then accelerate again. The main body of the peloton are just about a quarter of a lap away and Dibbert somehow is holding on to his lead in this uh, points race. 82 laps to go. Dibbert now goes to the front of the peloton. If he knows the rules right now, he'll realise that he's got to score the points in this one. But right now he can't because De Caterer, Graf, Thomas are the leading three riders on the track. So Dibbert, no point in doing any work. De Caterer, Graf and Thomas are going to score a few more points here, which is going to move them right up in the standings. And Dibbert is going to fall away from the top of the leaderboard the minute they catch the leaders. De Caterer takes five points in sprint number eight. Graf takes three. Thomas takes two. Ian Holt of the United States of America takes one. And any moment now, this race is going to come back together. The commissaires will point at what they deem to be the front of the race, and that is the De Caterer uh, group on the track. It's taken them a long, long time. But De Caterer, Graf and Thomas are about to score 20 points. And that's going to put Thomas right up at the top of the leaderboard. De Caterer would be in second and Dibbon would be in third place. The junction is about to be made. And the junction is made. 20 points will go now to Thomas, to Deacon, to Caterer and to Graf. Jonathan Dibbon made a big mistake there. He went to the back of the peloton and he let De Caterer out of his sight. Any moment now, we're going to get confirmation on the screen of that group of riders taking the lap. And I think we're going to find the Frenchman at the top of the leaderboard. The standings after sprint number eight, confirmation then. Benjamin Thomas of France is the leader. De Caterer in second place and Dibbon in third. Here's the rundown. Hashimoto also has taken a lap. 23 points. Dibbon has learned a little bit of a harsh lesson there about sitting near the back of the group of riders. Now the acceleration happens again. It's 39, 34, 33. And it is the New Zealander who takes five. Dibbon will take three. That will move him up a little bit. A good sprint there by Jonathan Dibbert, still in with a shout. The Tom, uh, Frenchman is riding a strong race so far. 
a long way, isn't it? 160 laps. Confirmation of sprint number nine. Luke Mudgeway takes five, Divot takes three, Graf takes two, and Chalaski takes a one point for the Polish team. Claudia Umhoff now of Switzerland at the front of the race. The standings after nine sprints, Benjamin Thomas has a three-point advantage on the British rider Jonathan Dibbon with Andreas Graf and De Ketela tied on points now. Here's the rest of the standings, uh, down to seventh place. There's our leader, Benjamin Thomas of France, with 39 points. at the front now from the American rider and this is Ian Holt who's trying to go clear Holt now at the moment is lying in 12th overall hasn't scored on the leaderboard he's making an effort he's opened up about a quarter of a lap and if they let him go he would move himself right up into uh, equal fifth place overall Phoenix English now going on the move with 64 laps to go. Ian Holt of the United States of America followed immediately by uh, English for Ireland. Big move now at the front of the race. It's the Chilean rider. There he is, wearing number nine, Louis Sepulveda. Trying to go clear with Felix English and Ian Holt. 62 laps to go. Coming up now to the next sprint lap. Very important for anyone who is looking to try and win this points race overall. The counter-attack comes from the Australian rider. This is Sam Wellsford. English is going to take five points, followed by Sepulveda, followed by Holt, and the one point is going to go to Sam Wellsford, who's going to try and get himself up to this trio in front and go clear to try and take a lap. A little bit of reinforcements making their way to the front of the race. Sam Wellsford, a great team pursuiter, goes now to the front of this trio. Ian Holt's going to slot himself into the wheels. He's unable to go with that, so Wellsford has got to make the junction to Sepulveda, who is there in first place. English in the Green of Ireland in second, and Wellsford in third. Sprint number 10, the standing show like this. Uh, the 20-year-old Frenchman, Benjamin Thomas, leads three points on Jonathan Dibbon of Britain and Andreas Graf in third. This is the next group of riders, Hashimoto having taken 20. Thank you for joining me for this points race. We will, of course, have uh, the victory ceremonies of the men's individual pursuit and the men's points race before the end of the night. 57 laps to go, it's still anyone's race. calm down a little bit see the rocking of the shoulders from the onboard camera of New Zealand such a tough race this is flat out bike racing sprints every 10 laps your heart rate is on its maximum it is mentally taxing and it is very, very tough on the body. Eloy Terro hasn't really shown in this race yet. What do you think of the onboard cameras then? Let me know on Twitter at Ambercrossan is where you can tweet me this evening. I'm impressed with this New Zealander riding very, very strongly in this race, uh, Luke Mudgeway. Up there in sixth place overall. 
just hasn't managed to get that little bit of luck to put himself into the uh, moves to take the lap on the rest of the field. Eloy Teruel is 11th at the moment. Uh, three years he's been on the podium, the Spaniard, so expect to see some sort of action from him before the end of the race. One lap to go to the next sprint. Divan makes his way towards the front. Uh, Thomas is on his wheel. The Chilean rider Sepulveda in the red, white and blue is leading through. Going shoulder to shoulder with Hashimoto. Divan looking to try to close the gap on Benjamin Thomas, which he does. So he now is a little bit closer to Thomas. I think two points will separate those two riders at the top of the leaderboard. The result of sprint number 11, Aya Hashimoto of Japan takes five, Sepulveda three, Divin and Thomas, they're the two riders battling for the win, third and fourth. Here's the overall standings, it's poised. Benjamin Thomas with 40, Divin with 38, Graf with 34, Takatela with 34, any one of those riders can win the race. An attack now from Andreas Graf. This is a dangerous one. This man is on 34 points. And Andreas Graf, another rider who is very, very good at the six days. And six day riders, uh, they are used to going for laps. They ride the Madison chases. And therefore, they're used to trying to go away, take a lap on the field because Madison's all about the team who over six days scores the maximum number of laps on the rest of the opposition. Graf is going clear here. This is a massive danger for the rest of these riders. He's on 34 points, he needs 20, he'll go to the top of the leaderboard. He will immediately take away the gold medal hopes of a few riders here if he does. Andreas Graf, can he get across? The crowd are starting to get behind him. Andreas Graf looking to try and take this one. He's been riding the six days over the uh, winter. He was third in Copenhagen. He won three national championships last year. The points, uh, the Madison and the Criterium. Can he close up on the field here? If he does, he will immediately go to the top of the leaderboard. Now we come to the next sprint. Graf is going to take the points. Devin is trying to go for this one, but I don't know what happened there. I don't know what Devin has done. The tactics are interesting. Maybe he hasn't got the legs, maybe he's cramping up. Andreas Graf goes through, he takes five points. And suddenly, Jonathan Divin was unable to go with that move. He needs those points to stay up at the top of the leaderboard. And 40 laps to go, things are starting to hurt out here. Sprint number 12, Andreas Graf with five points. He's the rider on the attack. Ramanau of Belarus, three. Hashimoto, two. Hanasenko with one point. Or is Dibben playing a dangerous game here? Here's the standings. Thomas leads with 40 points. Graf now has 39 in silver. Dibben in bronze with 38. Still, Andreas Graf is on his own. De Ketel has just gone to the front of the peloton. Dibben, I think, is banking on Andreas Graf not coming back here. So is Thomas. But any time that happens, it gives the Austrian rider the morale boost. De Ketel is on the front of the peloton. Andreas Graf, mouth wide open, the sweat is in his eyes. Thanks for your tweets, Lynn Greenslade. Thank you very much. Enjoy the racing.
Hello to Tim Kenyon, the, uh, your love in the onboard cameras, and no surprise supporting Jonathan Divin, Tim Kenyon, the brother of the Sky professional Pete Kenyon, and a fantastic coach. Andreas Graf going down the back straight now. He can see the peloton. If he gets there, he will be the leader of this points race with 35 points, 35 laps to go. Who do you think is going to win this one? It's still anybody's race. Dibbon to me looks like he is starting to suffer a little bit. Those shoulders are rocking. Andreas Graf, on the other hand, remember he's a six-day rider. He doesn't mind the pain. He doesn't mind sitting out there like this. He's just hoping for a lull in the action. A little group of four riders going away. Dibbon is in a little bit of trouble now. Graf slowly, surely pedaling towards the back of the peloton. He can see them just in front of him. Behind him, a group of riders. And included in here is the Australian rider, Sam Wellsford. A great performance from him. This would move him up in the standings. But the danger man in here is Decatala, who has got 34 points. Andreas Graf is in the pain cave right now. 31 laps to go. De Ketela is trying to close up as well, and the peloton have got to react now to this attack of Andreas Graf. The green shoes take it. De Ketela will take the second place. He's looking to add a little bit of extra firepower to Andreas Graf's attack. 30 laps to go. There's our leader on the track right now. Andreas Graf has five. He swings up to the top of the track. He looks to me like he's spent. Kenny De Ketela takes second. The gamble of Thomas and Dibbon. Is it going to pay off? Confirmation of the standings. Andreas Graf now, the top of the leaderboard with 44. The Frenchman Thomas with 40. Dibbon in bronze medal with 38. Here's our front group. Pick them up on the camera. There we go. It is Decatur, Graf, Sam Wellsford is also in there in the colours of Australia. What a race this has been. The defending champion, Arthur Urshoff, hasn't really been involved in the action. He's one lap down right now. The race is starting to come back together. And it is the Japanese rider, Hashimoto, with Dibbon are just trying to ride their way back to the front group. This will bring everything back together, and then it will be the leaders. I think Dibbon's legs are giving out a little bit. He is trying desperately to get across. He's slowly cruising across. He needs to get there. He looks pretty composed. He's been training in Tenerife during the winter and he's going to make it to the front group. So we have all the medal contenders in this front group now. The race is coming back together. Has he been suffering or has Dibbon got this all under control for the bronze medal? Graf of Austria, we know he's suffering. Thomas of France is also in this group now as another attack goes. Hong Kong, China now, on the attack, wearing number four, King Lok Chung. He's the rider in the red with a blue helmet. In terms of his position overall, he doesn't challenge the standings. He's a way, way down. He's got one point so far, 22 laps to go. The bell goes. Not many sprints left in this points race, and only six points separate Graf Thomas and Dibbon, and De Ketela could nick the bronze medal. In fact, De Ketela could nick any one of the medals. The points are going to go here to King Lok Chung, De Ketela fighting against Mudgeway, and that is going to move De Ketela up into the bronze medal position now, with two sprints left. Look at this, throwing their bikes to the line. 20 laps to go, two more sprints, and it's still anyone's race. King 
Lok Chung took the five points. And here's confirmation of that sprint with two to go. King Lok Chung with five, Mudge with three, Takatala with two, Hashimoto with one. And that's going to change the standings overall. Here's the standings, Andreas Graf, 44 in gold, Thomas in silver, the Caterla moves up into bronze. And here's the standings down to the top eight. What a thrilling race we've had so far. The Caterla has moved up. Little gaps all over the place now as uh, the points are being swept away here by these attacks. So Thomas, Decatala, Dibbon and Graf can't really be da endangered except by Hashimoto of Japan. But right now the medals are going to Austria, France and Belgium. Thanks for your tweets at Adam Crossan is where you can tweet me if you would like to. Thanks for everyone who's been watching Andreas Paul. There's a big crash on the track, and the leader, the second place rider, Thomas, has just hit the deck. So has Hashimoto. But this is the story because Benjamin Thomas now has hit the deck, and he is the rider who is in the silver medal position. And now this is going to be because they just have to get back up on the track. It isn't going to be neutralised. It's a full-on race now, and the Frenchman has to get back on the track. He gets back on the track now, but hasn't got enough left to get involved in the action. 12 laps of racing to go. Dibbons moving up, and Decatala, they sense the possibility of nicking the silver medal here. The Caterlers on the front, Dibbon is moving around the outside as well. A furious sprint going in, Dibbon makes his move, the Caterler is there. Dibbon with one lap, uh, one more sprint to go, goes through. That will put him back in the medals, five points to the Briton. The Caterler, I think, also scored some points as well. What a race this has been. Andreas Graf was also up there. It's all going to switch around again. Five points to the Briton, Jonathan Dibbon. Raman Ramanau took three, Decatur takes two, Graf took one. There's only one sprint remaining. And right now, there are going to be four points separating the top three. Five points separating the top four. It's going to come down to the last sprint. Sprint 15, Graf leads. 45, Dibbon 43, Decatur 41, Thomas with 40. It's going to come down to the last sprint of the night. Where is the Frenchman? Is he back safely in this race? Andreas Graf trying to go away. He's in the gold medal position right now. Andreas Graf trying to lead this one out. Seven laps to go. He looks down. Pinlock Chun goes. Hello, Terrell. Dibbon is not prepared to go with the move, but he only needs two points. There is uh, Benjamin Thomas. What a race for the Frenchman. Crashing just before the finish of this race when he was looking set for a medal. King Lok Chung now goes away. Elo Terrell's in second place on the track. Ian Holt is also there. But now it's going to be the fight for the medals. Remember, five, three, two, and one are the final points of the night. Five laps of racing to go. Five points separate the four top riders. What an incredible race. But the Frenchman now has reacted. He is looking to put himself back in the medals and take the final points of the night. What an incredible ride by this young Frenchman. This would put him possibly into gold medal if none of the other riders score the points. Well, he's got hardly any lycra on his backside, but right now he's absolutely motoring around this track. Three laps to go. This Frenchman is getting the crowd on his feet. 
Listen to the crowd going right now. Jonathan Dibbon reacts. Benjamin Thomas is there. Dibbon is absolutely flying around this track. One lap to go now. One lap to go. It is a pursuit between Thomas and Dibbon. Dibbon is going for it now. Jonathan Dibbon is absolutely motoring. The caterer is there. Is this going to be enough? They need big place. Jonathan Dibbon crosses the line. What a sprint. But Graf took second place. They are going to be equal on points. Jonathan Dibbon and Graf equal on points on countback. That would mean, I think, that Dibbon would be the world champion and Graf would be in second place. De Ketela would be in third. But Jonathan Dibbon sits up. He will be the world champion. What a sprint by Jonathan Dibbon. The final points go to Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain. Graf took three. They're equal on points, but on countback, Jonathan Dibbon will be the world champion for Great Britain. The crowd are absolutely on their feet. That is one of the best points races I have ever seen. Confirmation of the result. Jonathan Dibbon of Great Britain wins the world title. Andreas Graf of Austria takes the silver. De Ketela takes the bronze. What a stunning performance.